Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this uh, quick video I wanted to share with you some of the latest things that I have uh, come up with. Um, so these little, three little, I don't know, th this one's a paper clip, these are <laughs> safety pins, are uh, something I came up with after being inspired by my friend Sherry of Turquoise Dreaming. In our live, I worked on a little pocket that was slow stitched, but she did these little clusters, and of course they all come out different, but I really wanted to try something like that, and this is what I came up with. Now you can see all the stitching all kind of just everywhere, because of course I used dark thread, which maybe wasn't the best idea, but that's okay, I still like it. Um, it's this little flower, uh, on top of a larger flower, on top of just a little piece of fabric. And um, this is the little tassel that I did during our live there. So that is one, and this is on one of those paper clips, um, not paper clips, uh, safety pins that don't have the coil on the side. And um, Sherry has some, but I happen to have uh, a little one like that, so I went ahead and used that. And then this was a regular paper clip, um, I keep saying paper clip. A regular safety pin with the coil but you know what I found out for this it didn't really ma matter whether it had the coil or not because um, I actually folded the fabric right over this and for this the base that I used was this little piece of lace it's kind of like a crochet lace but it's one that I haven't used too much because to me it doesn't really look the design of it, it it's just not the prettiest thing I mean right there it's really nice so I probably would have used just that piece but you know the rest of it to me isn't um but it can still be used and this time I'm using it for the base it sticks out the bottom right here and then this was a little applique flower this was another little piece of uh, heart from a trim and that one had actually been cut off at the bottom so this little flower covers it and then there's another little piece of trim under that kind of peeking out here and a button and I really like how that came out as well. And then the last one, super simple, just a little piece of fabric. Oh, actually, what I did here is I put two strips of fabric together as the base. You can see kind of how I stitched them together. And then a piece of lace and then this little butterfly um, applique and a couple of little blings. You see the little bling? This was actually bling that came in a string and I just tacked it down between the... Um, rhinestones there so here's a closer look at this oh you can see it really well there bring the other one up again so you can see it really well and then this one okay so that's what I did I'm really happy with those I will definitely have to make more but I just happened to have, have find these little pieces and I showed them to you I believe in a couple of videos ago you know the the pins and the paper clips so I went ahead and used those up the other thing um, that as I was looking actually for fabrics to use with slow stitching, I came across this, um, it's a it's, um, sample book, well it was a sample book, I took it apart, uh, for like this upholstery fabric. And they're different uh, types of fabrics, a lot of them are cotton and linen and polyester mixes, some of them, you know, different mixtures of those materials there and uh, beautiful beautiful you know patterns on them and different textures so I wanted to use some of these up the, the size of them is about okay so they're about eight by five or six okay um, but of course when you tear them off of here or cut them off of here you do lose a little bit but I thought, okay, I have to be able to do something with these. Um, and then maybe I can incorporate. See, this already has this paper glued to it. And when you try to unglue it, it's, it's really difficult to, to take this paper out. I mean, see it peels off like that and stuff. So let me show you what I came up with. And I still have these that I could work with. One of the things that I came up with is I thought, hmm, maybe since it's got that paper, that could kind of stiffen, you know, be part of the shape of a little envelope. So I went ahead and made these little envelopes. Now, the, the first one I made, I thought that the paper should go, you know, on the flap. 
but after making it, it just doesn't feel right. Like this is soft on the bottom and this is kind of hard and it, it's kind of hard for the flap to go over. So, I mean, I've already done this, so um, I probably will use it anyway somehow. Or I might take it apart. I don't know. But this is how that came up with. I, I came out. I wanted to share that with you as well. If you have ideas on this, I guess I could always just cut that off as well. I don't know. Let me know. But then this worked out better. So I put the paper on the front part. So that made it nice and um, it gave this the envelope body. And then this is the flap. And so I do need to do something so that the flap will stay down. So I did it with this one. And what I did is all I did in it, look, I didn't even do it in the center. But I just sewed a little button on, on the middle there. Well, it was supposed to be the middle, but, uh, you know, it's up there. And then I tied a little piece of string, the same string that I used to tie the button. Tied it around, and now it's a little closure. So this is nice and, you know, stiff. And then this can close like this. And then I added just a, this little bead at the bottom. So this could be just a little envelope or what have you. Now I thought these could be pockets as well. If, like for example, since this wraps around, obviously it wouldn't be a pocket that I would glue down like this, because then, you know, how do I wrap it around? But this, if I found another type of closure, uh, maybe glue or sew some Velcro on here or something, I don't know. Um, again, give me some ideas if you can come up with some. Then these can get glued or sewn onto a page right um in a journal it would i mean it does make it a little bit thicker um but it could still be done or maybe onto a cover or what have you but i don't know i just really liked the idea of these little i don't know it's almost like a little purse these little envelopes <laughs> so i probably will make at least a few more Maybe at least a couple more. I don't know. I think it's really cute. But I am going to try to center the button next time. Or maybe I'll even move this one because it's starting to bother me now. <laughs> it's really cute. It's got the Eiffel Tower and almost like a little clock face on there. So, okay. So that's my idea. That's one of my ideas for this. The other idea is actually something I had done before a while back. Over a year ago for sure. I don't exactly know if this is how I did it, <laughs> but this is what I'm doing now, and it is making these little covers. So since this already has the paper in there, what I did is I took two pieces. Or let me just show you. So let's say I chose these two, and these I probably would not choose together. I would probably choose two pieces that were one. See, these two are pretty. I mean, they're all pretty, but... Some of them lend themselves more to being like the inside of the cover. To me, both of these would be look would look cute on the outside. Sometimes I can just rip it off. Sometimes I have to cut it off. Oh, that one ripped off. Okay. So because we have oh I broke it. That's okay. So because we have paper here and paper here. So what I did is I Put the paper on opposite sides and then put them together like this. Yeah, see, I'm going to be able to cut that off. And then sewn it, sewed it all around. And then it became a little cover. See? And you have fabric on the inside, fabric on the outside. But the middle, of course, it's fabric. But the, 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 the sides are reinforced with this bit of paper. The middle is just fabric, so it'll be easier when you put your pages in to um, actually sew them in. So I came up with these three. I really liked doing these, so um, I'm definitely going to have to make little journals or notebooks out of these. Look how pretty that shimmery fabric is. You see the shimmer on that? And it's just zigzag stitched all around. So there's no pocket or anything on there, but then again, it could be added. You know, a little piece of lace or scrapbook paper or anything could be added as a pocket inside if I wanted to, or it could just be left like that. And so I have that one and this one is so pretty, see? And then this one, which is kind of fuzzy and just plain on the inside. And see on this one, the little bit of paper shows, but you know, whatever, I could again embellish it with lace or whatever there. 
Um, and then the, they end up being about six by four which is not a bad size for like a little, you know, pocketbook journal or something like that. So, yeah, I really like this. I also do like this. I think this is the best one that, of the batch that came out. I like this idea as well. I'm not sure what it could be used for. Maybe just to put like little, little snippets of Happy Mail or something in there. Um, yeah, tell me what you think. Which was your favorite um, project? And if you have any ideas for me to rescue this one right here okay or if you just like the little snippets <laughs> right here okay so that's it for now um not too bad only a little over 10 minutes today <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it i hope you have a blessed day Bye bye